All right, guys. So in this video, I wanted to talk about subscriptions. Essentially, my advice to you, unless you're doing very simple subscriptions, I would not use the Stripe for your subscriptions. PayPal subscriptions are far, 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 far easier to implement, at least with the web UI, than PayPal. PayPal makes it really easy to set up your subscriptions to assign it to individuals, to set limits and pricing and all kinds of different things, to clone them. Super easy, no problem. Stripe subscriptions, not so easy. Now, that's with the web user interface. With the API, I find that the Stripe API is superior to PayPal overall. Uh, it's really easy to work with, but the web UI, not so good. So for example, I want to set up a basic subscription uh, for somebody who's in my mentoring program. They want to upgrade from the standard sub to, to high level sub, uh, basically to higher tier. And I thought, hey, you know, I'll just create a, another subscription, make the difference in, you know, Bob Jungle. Anyway, I needed to create a one-off subscription for a client, for one of the mentees. And I, I said, ah, I'll use Stripe, boom. And I went in there and I was on tech support and uh, I was on tech support with their tech support and a nice guy, but he, he didn't know the answers. I said, I'm trying to just, you know, create the subscription and set it to 12 cycles. That's it. And he said, eh, I'm not sure how to do that. So this is very basic stuff, you know. So he had to go to the committee to figure out why or how you could do this, even if you could do it. And it was a very convoluted process, like not at all clear. And listen, I'm an uber nerd, right? I'm an uber nerd, mega nerd, 10th power, and I still couldn't figure it out. So finally, we got it to work through some magic, but then it wasn't clear whether or not, when I did create the subscription with a limited billing cycle, whether or not the subscription would actually, was it being sent to the client or not? I, I, I could, you know, with PayPal, I just go send, boom, it's off. With Stripe, I couldn't figure out what to do. It was a very, very frustrating process. So I'm tech support, and I say, well, is it, is it sent out? He goes, well, in an hour it's sent out. I go, in an hour? Why do we have to wait an hour? He goes, I don't know. So, okay, that's good. And he's the frontline tech support. This is a basic thing. You know, so create a sub, set, 12, set cycle, six, 12 months, whatever you want. Boom, send it out. That's it. Very simple, you would think. But not the case. So my guess... You know, again, why did they make us wait an hour? I'm only guessing the reason would be is because maybe it was a Ruby coder and he's used to waiting all the time. So he said, you know, if I'm going to have to wait, you're going to have to wait. Or maybe it was the developer had been dating for a while, somebody, and he was being forced to wait. So he said, if I'm going to wait, you're going to wait. 